Um, hi, my name is Nimita. Uh, this is hi, my name is Yatish. My husband Yatish, uh, and this is Veer. He is eight months old now. Um, and yeah, so we just wanted to share a little bit of our IPF journey with everyone. <laughs> and, um, I think so. We were married. We met in I think around twenty. Six years in. Yeah, <laughs> like 2015, 2016. And we were married at the end of 2017. And pretty much since then, we had a... a Plans to get a baby. Yes, we were planning from the beginning. And it just wasn't happening. And um, yeah, we went through quite a lot of the procedures. We got all our tests done. And it turns out I was the problem. So I uh, had a multi-fibroid uterus and needed surgery to have those fibroids removed. And then, uh, so initially before joining Vitalab, we were at another uh, fertility center. And so we did try naturally for a while. We, uh, I had the operation to remove the fibroids. We had undergone intrauterine examination first. I think we did five rounds of that. And then we decided to start with IVF afterwards. Um, and I had done two cycles at the previous center uh, with no luck. Uh, and then someone recommended trying White Lab because they had had excellent uh, results and then just recommended the staff that were absolutely amazing. Um, so we I think we first attended White Lab maybe around 2020, somewhere there. Okay. Um, and my doctor was Dr. Gobetz, and I cannot uh, tell you how comfortable him did me feel through every step of the journey from the very first consultation where he met the both of us um it was honestly like just having a conversation with my dad it just you just feel the love you just feel the warmth from him nothing feels like um you're asking too much or you feel uncomfortable and awkward uh, no we had none of that um, so yeah, we basically, he then told me that my fibroids were back <laughs> and that I needed to have another surgery. So I had another operation to remove the fibroids yes. and then another two rounds of IVF. And after the second round, it was successful. <laughs> so yeah, we got pregnant, I think around September of 2022 Thanks. and then yeah fear was born in june 2023 um so at first it was really hard um because we went through it one second to the other place and um you know it not working it was my heart to be quite honest and uh it was it was quite stressful and um the emotional Part was really happening, mm. you know, going out. And I think at that point, quite a lot of our friends also just falling pregnant. Mm. It was really about us. easy for us. And we didn't want to be around people, to be honest. And I think when we went to Dr. Babette, I was also a bit too mind because like now we're just changing in some way out. Is it really going to work? But meeting him and the way he, um, you know, and like you said, like it's like talking to your father. You know, he has really found and reassured us. And he said to us, I remember he said something in the oven. He said, you remember oven? And if I put something in the oven, none of it is going to bake. Because there's a problem with your oven. <laughs> so we first need to fix it. And, you know, and he was like really honest about it. And it made a world of difference. And he said, it's not a quick journey. It's going to take us time. And also like the first time when it never worked. Um, he was actually so comforting towards us. He actually hugged us. And he really we like you could see this that he's not there just like to make money or whatever. He actually cares about the course. Mm, like our loss of his yeah. loss. Like yeah. we could just feel I could feel how sad you are it's for us after that for us. It made them it easier for us to like go back and yes. you know, try again. And we did say like if 
this doesn't work, whatever aches we had, we were not going to go back again. Because we made a decision. Because we've been going through it for a while. Mm-hmm. And, and eventually he came along. That was a frozen transfer. I think we've got, we managed to get five embryos out of the whole uh, retrieval in the process. I think we have uh, three left. Yeah. So, <laughs> three left in case we decide one could do it again. <laughs> but not any time soon. Yeah. Uh, I think just going back to the part that uh, where you said like what was kind of the most difficult thing kind of going through this. And I think for me, like it's such a broad, like it doesn't just affect you on a medical, on my body is going through this. It's physical, it's mental, it's emotional, it's social like he said like we didn't really want to see anybody you don't want to see your friends with babies you get um baby shower invitations and you're like okay no i don't that and we weren't really speaking about it much at the time so no one really knew what we were going um so yeah that made it like it was kind of hard in that sense where nobody knows what you're going through so you can't really say I'm sorry, I don't want to come to your baby shower because I'm struggling, you know. Um, so that mm-hmm. uh, is a very hard part on this whole fertility journey and kind of, you know, no matter how hard you try not to compare yourself to everybody else and it's just really hard not to, you know, when it's happening for everybody else and then your friend tells you, oh, I wasn't even trying. What could just happen? <laughs> now it's fine. <laughs> I don't want I can <laughs> Now, yeah. No, but it does go away. I mean, I actually, I feel a lot better now about seeing people and going out. And it just, it feels like kind of, I have that weight lifted off my shoulders for now. And I don't have to like worry about that. And it's not something that's always in the back of your mind that, oh, okay, I'm on this many medications I'm on this treatment and you know we've got doctor's appointments and trying to also fit it in with your life and your schedule and work and you know things like that so I mean Vicent Lab itself I kind of even explain how like easy they make the process from the time you make your appointment from you get there like Dealing with your accounts is easy, like, you know, there's no confusions, no mess-ups, everything is sorted out and planned properly. Even, I think, my surgery that I did, um, that Vital Lab organized and planned the first thing, and I was just told, here you go, this is when it's going to be, this is what you need to do, be here at this time, kind of sort, and, you know, it was that of the hassles and headaches and... It's a cultural thing. I think people are just scared to say that they're conflict or they're doing it. They might be ashamed of yeah. They know the someone would like well, she couldn't have it. So how yeah. the problem? I think it's always like oh, you feel like us now. If I'm the problem, like what are people gonna say? What are people gonna think? So people aren't really forthcoming and talk about it. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> it's a medical diagnosis, just like any other condition so i don't know why we scared to talk about it and scared to actually like help each other out and you know talk freely about it because i feel like that makes so much of a difference it's knowing that you have a support system there's other people i'm not alone in this there's other people going through this every day and it's like if i know okay i've got someone else going through this i can just pick up a phone and did you also feel like this you know, or I'm on this medication. Did it also make you feel like terrible and tired? And, you know, just having other people around you uh, to like talk about everything. It just, it's like, it's nice to know that there's like a support system out there. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I, I tell everyone, we went to I can, I'm like happy to say that there's nothing to be ashamed of often. Uh, I was soon as he came, like I speak openly about it and speaking to one of my friends and we were just playing pedal and he told me he also went for it. And he went so he divided me. 
So that's so funny, but he went to a different as well. But, you know, like, and he also speaks openly. He's like, I, he was a problem, man. But he says, it is what it is. I got sorted out. And now everything is better doing that and then not having a baby. Yeah. Having a big on saying, no, it just never works out. So, 